Hey, what's going on, guys? I picked this Glock 43X up um, for my birthday last week, and I wanted to do some upgrades to it, and my package from Brownells just came in. So I wanted to do a quick video on what I did to it, primarily these um, short arms, 15 capacity Glock 43X, and also the 48 mags. Um, clear the original Glock mags are only 10 round single stack I believe um, but shield arms came out with these metal mags where the wall thickness is much thinner than the polymer and they're able to fit 15 rounds in it same same outside dimensions just with the thinner wall with the metal, um, you're able to do um, a double stack. And then that takes your um, 43X, which is a lot thinner of a frame than your standard Glock 19. And then you throw these mags in, which are the same capacity of a Glock 19. And what better combination for a concealed carry gun? You're able to conceal it more. Um, it should hug tighter to your body so it can't be seen. And you also have the same amount of round uh, capacity as the Glock 19. Again, nothing in there. Um, so yeah, I picked this up from Brownells. They had a deal. Three magazines. And then it came with the mag catch, which I already put in. Um, it's a steel mag catch to go with the steel mags. And that's the standard one I took out. I kind of like the feel of that grid pattern better than just the straight serrations. But they went with the metal to mate up with the, the metal magazine. It's not that the plastic won't work, but after a thousand or so rounds, it might wear out on you and you'll have issues. So I figured I'd just go with the combo deal and get the three mags and the mag catch all in one. Um, what else did I get for this thing? Again, all this stuff's already installed. I got the, the Vickers, uh, slide stop. It's the Glock 43, 43X, obviously the one in there's the standard now because I have it in. I like this style slide stop. I put it in a lot of my pistols because it's not ob obnoxious. It doesn't hang out like super far or anything. It just gives you a little bit more to grab onto without being crazy for concealed carry. So I threw that in there. Not a big deal switching those out. And then I also went with the flat face um, trigger for the Glock. This is for all Gen 3 and Gen 4 Glock models, including the 42, 43. 43x and the 48 i believe in the questions on brownells they tell you it won't work for it they need to update that though because it says clear as day on the packaging that it will um i read on tango down's website that it worked so i went against the what they were saying on brownells and picked it up and then i saw it's right on the packaging so that's something that they might want to address um, if you watch this video you'll know that it will fit your 43x and your 48 and your regular 43 or 42 um, you can see it's flat face and it just to me it has a a better feel it's still just as safe as your standard Glock trigger but it just I don't know to me better feel you can barely even tell that you're depressing the um the safety and uh, finally i picked up a set of trigicons for it uh if there's a part number for it the only options on brownells were these and then i think ameriglow made a made a set for the small frame Glock, but I've always been a Trigicon fan, so 
and they were only about eight bucks more or so than the Mariglows. If you can see here, there they are. They went on relatively easy. Um, trying to think. So the 43X and the 48 have this, the same frame. The uh, 48, I, was, I kind of wanted it to begin with, but then I got a good deal on the 43. And afterwards, I'm uh, kind of happy that I did. So it's definitely going to conceal better. The 48, this is a PSA da dagger, by the way, which is essentially a Glock 19. It, the 48 has the same length slide as the 19, so... You're looking at like another inch or so on the slide but it uses the same frame so the slide just hangs out past past the frame for it and brownells actually makes a 48 slide so i'm thinking i might next order i put in i might grab a 48 slide and a completion kit just so i can swap it out and just kind of get a feel to see if i like the 48 um more than likely for carry i'm going to leave it as is but be kind of cool just to have the option to swap out in and out like if you're having a range day and practically like um i don't know just uh bringing a new gun to the range but really all you're doing is swapping out the slide uh, so i'm probably going to do that and might get the one with the uh the optic cut just for something different um, they make make the smaller uh rmrs for them so i might do that and put that pair that with the 48 slide just just because that's probably not something i'd carry anyways i bought this to be small and concealed and by putting the 48 slide with the rmr on you're kind of getting away with the small compactness so might pair it with the 48 just for um playing around on the range i'll put um a link in the description for the 48 slide as well as everything that I just showed you guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks, guys.